Hi, my name is Marcus Conti reporting from Brooklyn, New York. So like the record labels and musicians of Christmas past, Mr. Conti will like to make a prediction that corporations will have the same fate. Right? See, like record labels, record labels, remember record labels? Ah, your favorite, your favorite rock stars, right? They made millions and millions and millions of dollars. They're all living high on the hog and hog and and I don't know, maybe rightfully so. They they had this they created this great music and but what happened was the internet came along and 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 there the idea of selling music became something that was kind of ridiculous to to a next generation who was downloading and passing digital uh stuff back and forth and uh, it became the the idea of a record a record a piece of art something that you would buy with the with the artist's face on it became obsolete right so i what i suspect is that what i would what what is absolute forget about what i expect what is absolutely necessary in this country is to obsolete the corporate elite now i want to read some numbers here this is fucking staggering right this is from forbes the art, the uh the links are down below <clears throat> so what what his i want to just preface it before i continue is that Forbes is currently trying to shift the focus away from American oligarchy, the people that are making a lot of money in this country, and they're trying to make it a globalist idea, right? But I'll read, I'll read to you first. I'll put the two links down below. You could see the, the, uh, the, the global billionaire list, and then look at the American billionaire list. The Americans are all, all on the top of the list. But just listen to this for a second. Capitalism global conquest continues. I'm reading from Forbes. As entrepreneurs around the globe mint fortunes in everything from cyber, cyber currencies to telecom to bridal dresses, Forbes has pinned down a record 2,208 billionaires from 72 countries and territories, including the first ever from Hungary and Zimbabwe. This elite group is worth $9.1 trillion dollars up 18 percent since last year their average net worth is a record 4.1 billion dollars americans lead the way with a record 585 billionaires let me read that one again americans lead the way with a record 585 billionaires followed by mainland china 372 century century billionaire Century billionaire, I don't even know what that means. Century billionaire Jeff Bezos <laughs> secures the list's top spot for the first time, becoming the only person in, to appear in the Forbes rank with a 12-figure fortune. Remember when we used to say six figures? Wow, this guy makes six figures. This guy makes fucking 12 figures. It's disgusting. Or is it? Is it, is it his birthright? Is he so smart that he deserves it? Let's continue. Bezos' fortune leaped from more than th $39 billion, the, list, the list's biggest one-year gain ever. Let me read that again because it's important. Bezos' uh, fortune leaped more than $39 billion, the list's biggest. He made $39 billion. His net worth went up $39 billion in one year. He moved ahead of Bill Gates, who is now number two. It is the biggest gap between number one and number two since 2001. Bernard Arnault, with a fortune of $72 billion, claims the title of the richest European for the first time since 2000. Blah, blah, blah. There are 259 newcomers, including the first ever cyber currency billionaires, two Canadians, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, so that's, that's, the, that's the shit right there, right? Billionaires, right? We have to identify the oligarchy. Someone in the, in the thread points that out, right? That who is, when we say we, we, must, we must keep our eye on the ball and, 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 and sink our teeth into the oligarchy and squeeze them and raise their tax, right? right? Raise it to 80, 80. You don't like 80%? Good. It just went up 10%. I just raised it 10%. Now it's 90%. The wall just got 10 feet higher. Right? No, this is the way to do it. Right? Someone said that to me. He said, I said, Conti, raise, raise the corporate tax rate to 80%? I said, yeah, shit, yeah. He said, you can't do that. I said, it just went to 90. 
<laughs> fucking guys. Right? Look, that's the way to do it, right? So who is the oligarchy, right? I, I'm putting all these lists down below. It's very, very important stuff, right? Because they're making $9 trillion. That money is... How much tax do, do, do the 500 billionaires in America pay? They don't pay anything. They, they move their money around. Capital gains, right? As long as... So, so forget... I'll give you an example. People don't understand how the tax thing works. When you work for a living and you make 40, 50, 70 grand a year or now 20 grand, whatever you're making, right? Your money, they take your tax money out. And at the end of the year, you got to fight the IRS to get your money back. They know every penny you made. It's all calculated. It's all on the record. But with billionaires, what they do is if they make, you know, if they make 80... Eighty million dollars or two point five billion dollars in stock gain, right? Capital gain. What they do is they take their money and they they move it into some other asset before the tax year expires. So it's not it, they're not taking they're not cashing in, <laughs> right? They're not cashing in. They're moving their money to some other, so, you know, some other haven or some other place where. Their money is still in play, is what they're trying to say. But a lot of that is is total bullshit. If you follow the, if you actually follow the trail, they're putting it in companies they own. They, it, look, it's monopoly, right? You you, you got to. <laughs> it's monopoly, right? These guys are they, they're, they're stealing. They're stealing your money, right? Right? They're stealing your money. The the country is based on a, on a. Our country, in case you're new to the country or you don't know what the fuck you're talking about or you didn't go to school in America and what we were taught and what we, we came to understand and what what people fought and died for was the idea that, that American prosperity, American wealth is something that we all share, that we, that we, that we um, come together and fight for and, and, and represent, right? And through our taxation of corporations through our 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 uh, individual income tax okay it, yeah okay that's fine individual income tax is fine but the corporate tax also has to, people look the corporations they're, they're fighting in citizens united that they're people their their corporations are people money is speech all right great so if you're fucking people then pay your tax like the rest of the people right so I want to make a distinction too. Is there a distinction between the billionaires, the oligarchy, the oligarchs, right? Guys like the Koch brothers, the, you know, the, read the list. I'll read, I'll, let me read the fucking list. Let me read the list. Where is this goddamn list, right? So Forbes, right? Where is this list? So th just the top, the top. Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, right? The Koch brothers, Larry Elson, right? All the, they're, they're all the familiar names, right? These guys are all billionaires with a B, right? They make billions of dollars, right? But there's also a, another whole slew of really, really money-grabbing people called CEOs of, of publicly traded companies. Some of them, Bezos happens to be the owner and the CEO. But but it, in many respects, CEOs that, that, that grab massive amounts of money to 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 do the dirty work of the corporation which is inflate the, 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 the look, there's trillions of dollars on the table and these guys they don't they're stealing the money 18 percent increase in 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 billionaire capital it's outrageous in one year but we're going to make america great again that money i promise you is going to trickle down right trickle down trickle down economics right because when the corporations make massive amounts of money right then they hire people and then that money rains down on all the poor people below but no that's not what happens instead you have examples of the wall the walmart the Wal the walton family who most of the people a lot of the people are on minimum wage and then they direct them down to the food stamp office so that the government you pay the worker you pay the workers food while they make all the, the billions and billions of dollars in, in profits in their corporation. And they, that, right? Is it, I, again, is it, it to me, it's, it, it's, it, it's repulsive to have to explain it <laughs> again and again and again. Uh, um, 
but but I get it. I I understand that people people want to believe in in the in the failed policy of th- this idea that democracy somehow has to do with uh it, it has to do with the the, I, the 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 promise of becoming a millionaire and a billionaire right and that's good that's not th- that doesn't go away that actually happens for millions of people instead of a 500 500 of them right when you take when you take the power away from these power elites right you you deflate these corporations right that money then hits the real economy people like you and i could instead of a guy you know i'm i'm broadcasting out of out of a room a small a small room in in brooklyn new york right right and i have a message that's in my view better than cnn or msnbc right not to pat myself on the back but i will <laughs> There's, but there's a lot of us. It's not, it's not just me, right? And it's certainly not just my message. I, I, my mentors are all over the internet. But the point is that, that, that filthy, the way to bring this oligarchy down is, is the only way. The only way is to, is to change the tax code, billionaire and above, right? It, it, it has to actually be lower. It has to, maybe anyone who generates any corporation, any, any, legally recognized entity that generates more than 10 billion dollars 10 million m 10 million for now has to they fall into an 80 percent tax bracket that it is not it's not lenient it's severe a severe tax bracket where people are held to a higher standard of taxation right so that that bullshit business of tax avoidance where you move your your capital gain from the stock market and move it over to move it over to some some fucking other thing down the block in 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 a, in a tax haven in Panama or in some bullshit made up company in 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 uh in fucking Bahamas wherever the wherever the tax havens are you have to stop all that that is when you make the money we want our money right we want our money and we're going to we're going to we're going to weaponize the IRS and take our money, right? That's the focus. That's where the focus should be. Now, again, they'll cry. The billionaires will cry. Communism, they're taking down the flag. What about, you know, America is, is, is pros- land of prosperity, freedom, capitalism, right? They'll say all that bullshit, right? Be- because, because they've rigged the system in their favor, right? So they're using all that terminology. Communist socialist right wing leftist all the t- oligarch even oligarchy right because w- what they're doing now is that they're gonna they're gonna hijack that word what it is is oligarchy oligarchy is when a small number of people control the board right they control in a, in a in a in a mostly illegal very divisive very aggressive way control the masses that's oligarchy that's what we have here so what you're seeing now in the media is that word, just like collusion. Remember collusion, the word collusion, where collusion, where where Hillary Clinton colluded with the with the, uh, you know, with the with the mainstream media, the the corporate media, and she colluded with government officials, Obama, Lynch, right? She, that was collusion, right? And when when the the alt media like us started to talk about the idea of collusion, what Hillary Clinton was doing, the, the, the corporate media then switched it to Trump colluding with Putin, right? They, they hijacked the term. So ex- they're starting to do it now with oligarchy. Rather than look at American oligarchy, they're saying that the Russian, Russian oligarchs, they use that term Russian oligarchs, to take your mind off the ball. This is the ball right here, right? The ball is the American oligarchs. I forgot what I was going to say, <laughs> but but anyway, so that so that's um that that's uh basically my rant. But that's the focus. The focus is is on is on oligarchy. Wall Occupy Wall Street was right, two thousand eleven, right? The, the the focus must be to 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 deflate the oligarchy, hold them accountable, right? 
And then what happens? Then what happens? Yeah, they, they, there's a possibility. I know, I know the possibilities because I, I understand economics. What's going to happen is the banks are going to, they're going to create a, f a fucking shitstorm through the corporate media. Oh my God, the banks are going to freeze. They're going to, all the banks are going to freeze, just like they did in 2008. And they took a, a 700 billion and countless other billions that we don't even know about from, from the taxpayer, right? They're going to they're gonna say, oh, the banks are going to freeze. The, and they probably will, but that's a good thing. Let, let it go, right? Let Citibank, let, let JP Morgan, let, let fucking Goldman Sachs, let them deflate, right? Let them deflate and go away, right? Tax them. Tax them. You cannot regulate you and I and anybody else who knows anything about economics cannot regulate Goldman Sachs. They are the best, the biggest thieves in the room, right? And there's, they're not alone, Right, the, the, the J.P. Morgan is the same, right? And they're a commercial bank, right? They have commercial bank status. If you have a Chase account, right? You cannot, you can't regulate these types of organizations, but you have to identify them as the problem. That they they are controlling the economy in their favor. Everything that they do, every move, every move is not in the to benefit the American people. It's to benefit themselves. They work on behalf of themselves. They're for the people, by the people, and, and of the people. The people is them. They don't give a shit about America. They're, they're trying to create a globalist. They've already done it, right? Where they, where they move their money around. They, take the, they siphon the money out of the U.S. economy, and then they move it around globally. The globalists, right? Right, and th that money never hits hits our economy. They're stealing from us. Even if even if production starts, they'll they'll invent something here, like they did. Well, the example with Harley Davidson, they take a wonderful motorcycle, and now that they've figured out that, right, the design is solid. They they're taking it. They're gonna make the the the, the American motorcycle in, in in Thailand, right? That's what they do because it's cheaper to do it there than it is here. So all those workers and all. So where's your patriotism? Where's your fucking, where's, where's their patriotism to the country? They don't have it. You have it. They don't have it. They have patriotism to the fucking dollar. Okay? So when people realize that, look, you can, you can go out in the street and pick it with your pink pussy sign and your, and your, and your fucking ice. Ah! Right? And, and do all the social issues and, 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 and say it's, 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 you know, the, the blacks hate Trump and the Trumps hate blacks and the fucking, the, the, the Chinese and the blacks and it's, it's, it's Russia, it's China, it's, it's the gays and the bathroom and the, all this bullshit, right? It doesn't mean anything, right? That's what I'm trying to say to the people who think they're going to save the world through social issues, right? Right? But if you, if, you, if you keep your mind on the ball and you, you focus and stop putting these people on pedestals, oh, they're so fucking smart, Mr. Bezos, $100, $100 billion guy, fucking, the guy's a scumbag. The guy is, the guy is, a, is, a, is a thief. <laughs> if, we keep, if we collectively keep our mind on the ball and take down the oligarchy, what do we get? What's the, what do we get out of it? What do we get out of it? What do we get out of it, Conti? What do we get out of it? I'll tell you what we get out of it. We get easily, easy universal health care, right? Easy. That's a no-brainer. We take the 500 million leeches that are sucking the, in the, insurance, in the, the insurance company, big pharma insurance companies, and get rid of them. We don't need them. Get, get them fucking, put them on food stamps for a while. Let them fucking fend for themselves. Get rid of them and give everybody universal health care, right? And and stop the 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 their their fucking driving prices up. We don't need them. We don't need them. We already have a single payer Medicare Medicare system. We have it. It's for people over sixty five years old or sixty two. All you do is advance that. You you lower the age to everyone, and everyone becomes covered. Look, forty percent of the country or. 40 million people already have that. Poor people already have Medicare, right? And people, so you got already 100 million, maybe 80 million people already receiving Medicare. All you're doing is expanding it to everyone. 
right? Then what you have is is people hold their jobs for for healthcare. They want to hold on to that job. I got I can't give up my job. If I give up my job, I, I'm going to lose my healthcare, right? So so that that problem goes away because you're ins- you're ensuring that everyone has health care, health care for all. So that is a, a huge benefit of eliminating the oligarchy, eliminating this, this fictitious, blown out idea of capitalism, that somehow you're giving up your right to capitalism by, by calling them out for their, their very elitist socialism, that, that where the government is supporting them and, and throwing you under the bus, right? So... Single pay, single payer health care for all. Health care for all. Wow, what a what a concept. Europe, most of the free countries have it already. Most of what we think of as, or what the corporate media refers to as first world countries throughout Europe already have it. Well, Scandinavia has it. England has it, right? And they'll say, oh, you fucking lines, and then no, it's a lie. It's a fucking lie. Right. Free college tuition at city and state universities. Easy. All you're doing is you're extending what we already give. We have a public school system in this country. I'm a product of the public school system. I went to, I went to school, public school, uh, you know, elementary school right here in New York City. I went to a public junior high school. I went to public high school. And I, I went to a private college. I went to Syracuse University. I paid, still owe the loan. <laughs> They're chasing me 35 years later, still on a fucking loan, right? So get rid of all that, right? You stop that. If I, if college was free, and, and at city and state universities, I wouldn't be. They wouldn't be chasing me around with a fucking student loan for 35 years, right? You get rid of you. You, you expunge the debt, expunge the student loan debt. Done, end it, delete, right? Delete it from the system, right? Free college at city and state universities. Done deal. You raise the corporate tax rate to 80%. That's number one. That's the first thing, right? Then, you, you, right, you see how the pieces start to fall, fall in place? You see how the pieces start to fall in place? That it's, it's the money. It's the money in, in politics, right? So let's talk about that. It's the money. Then it's the money in politics. How does this game stay in place? It's the politicians. So... Term limits. You have to get rid of these scumbags, right? These guys, you know, in my in my district, I'll say Ch- Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand. They're they're money grabbing, you know. They 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 they're for the corporations. They're fully one hundred percent in the pocket of corporate America. I'm running as a senator against in two thousand eighteen Gillibrand. And if we fail there, we'll go for Schumer, right? So. If you want real change, you pick someone like me with my views and my vision for you, right? Where's Gillibrand? She's saying repackage student loans. They, they want to repackage Obamacare. It's fucking gibberish. It's bullshit, right? Bullshit. It's bullshit. I said it's bullshit. So... That that's how we uh, that's how we solve the problem. And there's a lot of other goodies. It's not free stuff. It's not free stuff. It's your stuff. Do you see the difference? They, that's another talking point. Oh, those guys, they want all this free. He's giving everything away. He's look. He's this guy, the maniac. He's giving everything away. No, it's your stuff. Don't buy into that bullshit. That 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 I have to work harder and make more and 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 focus my fucking life on 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 slave labor and then and you get nowhere you accumulate nothing, right? But if you if you take this massive amount of money that the that the corporate elites through the corporations and through the paying off of politicians and through the tax evasion system are stealing all of this money. If that money hits the economy, pow! You you have a uh, it's like it's like raining down fertilizer on new grass and it grows right that's it's seed money right that that then that that people start to move around and they say oh, I have a great idea but I can never do that idea right now because I don't have the fucking money and I gotta I oh it's nine o'clock I gotta go to work I gotta be at work and I gotta get slaved until until I fall over and then come home exhausted right that that's not you know, there's no flexibility. There's no, there's no motion. And corporations 
they're beating people down, slaving slave wage because they don't want to pay. The, they don't want to pay that that premium. Every new employee, they have to pay all these benefits. They have to pay for uh, for, for health care. Guess what, corporations? You don't have to pay for health care anymore. You don't have to pay for it. We, we got you covered, right? Just make what you make, and we want our tax money, right? We want our money. If we don't get our money, all the, we're going to empty out the jails with all the, the petty criminals, the, the guy who jumped over the turnstile, the guy who sold $5 worth of pot, and, and the crack dealer who, who had to feed his fucking infant and he has nothing, right? We're going to empty the jails out of all those people. We're going to put you in the fucking jail. Right? It's only, it's only a few thousand, right? We'll fill up the jails with the billionaires when they evade their tax. What's so hard about that? What is so hard about that? Right? And again, they're going to use their corporate media. They're going to scream from the rooftop, socialist, fucking communist. They're going to boom, 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 the red scare with the red flags. Putin, Trump's in the pocket with Putin, fucking Russia, scar. It's their money they're screaming about. You're taking their money. That's what it is. It's not, it's, it's, they're, they're, cre they're creating a, look, Russia, <laughs> Russia, Russia doesn't, doesn't succumb to the United States economies. They think it's a joke because most of it is. China doesn't succumb to the, Amer to, to the U.S. economies because they think it's a joke. And, and for the most part, it is a joke, right? But so they're, they're, that's why they're the enemy. That's why, you know, and, and, and how does, look, the other thing is the military, you've got a fucking 80% cut in military, right? We don't have an enemy. We don't have an enemy. There's no enemy, right? We don't have a, an enemy. It's a world economy. We don't have no fucking enemy. The enemy is, 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 is saying there's no enemy, right? <laughs> That's the enemy. Right? That's what it's all about. It's about when you have a red scare, you have you can you have to keep NATO full of arms, and you have to sell arms and and defend yourself and build arms along the border of Russia because Russia, right? Why do they do it? Because it it makes money. Lockheed Martin answers are in the stock market, right? So if you tax these corporations, right, you solve that problem. You solve it at the root. You don't go over there and try to negotiate politics and and insurgency wars and regime changes that's the fucking lie that's the lie the problem is the root problem is is the is the oligarchy the american oligarchy not the russian oligarchy not the fucking chinese oligarchy not the the globalist oligarchy it's the american oligarchy right here right on our soil who manipulates your elections to get the people that will carry out their work right that's who the that's the problem the problem keep the focus thank you rush limbaugh fucking yeah parading the american flag saying uh, fucking mm, trump right it yeah mm, trump but get your fucking ass out of the chair and do something about it trump knows trump if anybody knows about trading and insider trading and 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 moving the moving the fucking corporate ball against the people it's trump he spent his whole life doing it as a real estate broker in new york city so if trump really really wants to help if trump really really wants the support of of the the, the intelligent masses the mass of people who know the problem right and 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 you don't want them to 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 support some other leftist can, some lefty candidate right because that's all we have the only the only hope is to to insurge against you and knock you out of the box. If Trump really has the testicles and really has the balls to call out the corporations, that's how he will do it. He will fucking stop trying to get to Mars, right? It, it's <laughs> stop trying to get to Mars and 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 weaponize the IRS against the corporate elite. That's how you win. Build a wall around yourself because they're going to come after you with guns drawn, right? Right. Watch what you eat. They can try to poison your food. But that's how how it works. Right. And and then that's how you deflate it through the money, because that's where the money's coming in. The Koch brothers. How many elections are they going to buy? How many 30 billion? How many 30 million dollar checks are they going to write to get senators and congressmen to 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 
to get elected and then do their bidding. The whole Republican Party is totally corrupt. 80% of the Democratic Party, totally corrupt. 85% of your politicians are money-grabbing scum. Right? Let's say that again. 85% of your current elected politicians are money-grabbing scum. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, opinionist on YouTube. Kindly subscribe to my uh, YouTube station. Spread these videos around. And if you'd like to make a contribution, I have uh, a bunch of ways to do it down below. Peace out.